I'm going to throw, this is my soft plate, that's not my soft plate, a tiny slab, a thin tiny slab. So I'm going to start with my blob, pound it out just like before, throw it a few times, not sure how I got that crack in there. There we go. Because I'm going to ask this to bend a ton to be round. So I can't be too thick or it's not going to want to bend. Now, I also want to compress it. So I'm going to take my wooden dowel and it's going to be like my mini rolling pin. And all that clay that stretched to flatten now is I'm compressing. Now notice as I do this, I'm not squishing it off to the side. I'm just coming up to that edge because I don't want thin edges. I want it to be as much the same thickness as I can. And just like I did with the handle, I'm going to work some water into this so that it's really plasticky and really wants to move for me. Now as I do that, I don't like working with gooey clay. See, it got all gooey. Should have worked that in just a little bit more. So I like to put a little bit of water on it and I work it in until it's not shiny anymore. That's when I know I'm good to flip it over and get the other side. So I sort of like make my clay shiny, rub it all in, and that's just going to make it so it's less likely to crack along that surface. That water will help keep that together. All right. I want to make sure it lifts off. Now this is a thin, this is not a pancake, this is a crepe. This is a thin, okay? All right, so I'm gonna cut one straight edge, I'm gonna cut a top straight edge, and I'm gonna cut a diagonal line. So I have, oop, a little too close to that edge there. So it's cut at an angle, a bevel, just like my lid, repeating the bevel. So I have straight, straight, bevel. And now, I'm gonna go this way. I can take the, my dowel, this is gonna be my armature. Who remembers what an armature is? Can we talk armature? No, we didn't, because we didn't do this after the other one. An armature holds up your clay while you're building. My arm is holding up the dowel. So that's the way to remember that. The armature holds up your clay. A, R, is it on here? I don't know. Put it on there if it's not. Armature, A, R, M, A, T, U, R, E. Holds up your clay while you're building. You usually take them out. Oh, there's my baby food jar. Oh, that's the way. All right, now I can I can roll this around, and this armature is supporting my clay. So if I roll this dowel around, the dowel is my armature. It's the thing that's supporting the clay. So as I roll the clay around the dowel, or roll the clay around the armature, I can make a really thin spout if I want. But I don't know if you noticed, I'm guessing you did, hopefully you've done some of your sketches, that as you, as the spout came to the body of the teapot, oftentimes they get wider. So if you're going to do that, you want one side that's close to the dowel and one side where you kind of add some space. So I'm going to kind of open that up and add some space over here so I get a cone shape. And then as soon as it tucks over, I'm going to loot, and you can do this on the table, but I'm gonna scoop with the dowel, kind of make a scooping motion to loot that inside slab together. So I get a smooth inside slab. And then I'm going to take a needle or a knife and I'm gonna slice again at an angle as soon as it overlaps. And then I flip it over and I want the dowel, again, it's my support. So I'm gonna hold that so it supports my seam. And I can either come along there with a finger and loot it in Sometimes it's kind of clunky, like my finger tends to be too much. So sometimes I use the little tiny fingers of the serrated rib to loot it over. But I gotta make sure that I'm holding that against it. And then smooth that out so it's even. And it's pretty soft and pretty thin. So I don't do a whole lot now to this edge. I'm gonna fix up that edge more tomorrow when it's a little drier. And then I take it and I stick it on, huh? Perfect. Looks good, doesn't it? What do you think, George? Look good? Yeah. I'd probably do the same thing. You were, you're being nice to me by saying yeah. Same exact thing. It, do, it doesn't really look so good, does it? Sorry. Unless I'm making a Pinocchio teapot, it doesn't really match the teapot at all. And what happens right now? If I put water in this, 
Actually, what's going to happen if I put water in this right now? It just, well, like, if I try to fill it, it's going to just spill right out, isn't it? It's not effective teapot if it just drips out while I'm trying to make it, right? How can I steep my tea? So I have to put the, for what first thing, I need the opening to be in the top half of the teapot. Looks even worse, right? It doesn't match my design at all. So I have to figure out how to make this match my design. Well, everything's curvy so far. So I'm going to, again, bend it by pressing the clay into itself. So I have a thumb inside for support right now. And I'm bending that clay. <coughs> and I'm trying to not squish it too much, but give it a curve. And maybe I'll give it, this. these have a little like flourish at the end. Flourish, maybe I'll try and give this one a little flourish. It's getting better. I don't really like this like mm, this end coming up. So I can do something like maybe I want to make it level. See what that looks like. That's better. Now anytime I want to cut this, I have to cut one side at a time. If I just go, whoosh, I'm gonna like squish this thing I was just so careful to make nice and round. And it wants to rip, so I gotta be really careful how I cut. Because I just ripped it. You just, it's hard when it's this gooey and thin, but it's got to be this gooey and thin to make it curve. So I could spend some more time fixing this up. We don't really have more time. So maybe that edge, that's good, right? Now, what angle do I want? I'm going to get level with my teapot and say, how do you feel, teapot? How should this fit you? Not really, but you know. And then I'm going to play with different angles so that it fits the style of the teapot. I like it right here. Now I gotta make sure that where I attach it matches the side. So I take the knife or the needle and I'm going to make a curve by having it rest on the teapot. So I took this and I rested it like this and then I used it while it was resting. I cut, this is the wrong one, that was a mess up. I made this mark. So I know how it would fit along that side. Now I'm gonna cut one side at a time I'm going to rip this piece off just so I can see how I need to cut there. And it's going to end up kind of like something like this. And then I put this back up here. And here's key. i got to look over the top and make sure it's lined up. It's really easy to do this. Well, it's kind of lined up. Not really. I want to make sure it's nice and straight. So I'm going to line it up this way so all these things are in line. I put that on there. That matches the curve of the teapot, right? And if not, I can make a new one. I can cut some more off. It's a little bit angled, but I can fix it up. We're gonna say it's good. I might fix it some more if I were keeping it, but sure, it's good. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm going to mark where it goes so I know where it's gonna fit. Now, this is not my hole. If I cut that out, I have nothing to attach this to, right? So the hole that the T is going to come out must be smaller. So I'm actually going to cut a hole and I wanted a nice clean hole. Oh, come on. I didn't go all the way through. Should use a Fetley knife. I always like cutting it better with a Fetley knife. There we go. Take that piece out. I would clean this up, make it purty, cleaner than that. Now I have places for that to sit. I have a place to score and slip and a place for that to come out. So I would score and slip this piece together. I would do a better job than this, but I've got like a minute. And then, let's get this on here. This will work better. I put my slip. Scorchy, scorchy, scorchy. And get that piece on there. Now, we are low on time. I'm gonna talk about the foot tomorrow. It's not straight. Make sure that's straight and lined up. Cleaning this edge. So we'll do that part tomorrow and talk about your final design tomorrow. But for now, you have some of these main pieces and how they're all together. You can put a coil in here too to even it out. That's up to you. Right now, this needs a little more scoochy scooch and a little more support to get that in there. So I'd probably stitch and coil around here to get a nice smooth attachment to there too. So please, make sure your name is on this. Put it in your locker. We'll do the last little step tomorrow.